Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making oatmeal honey soap using melt and pour soap. This is a super, super easy way to take a melt and pour soap base and turn it into a really beautiful, luxurious soap. Let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is one pound of melt and pour soap base, and you can get that at just about any craft store. I will put a link below to where I got mine. There are a lot of different great companies out there that sell melt and pour bases, and there are a lot of different kinds. I will be using a goat's milk melt and pour soap base for mine. The next thing you'll need is a mold and I have this silicone mold that I'll be using and then we'll need something to melt the soap in. I'll just be using this Pyrex measuring cup. I have some sweet almond oil I'll be adding to our soap base to make it more luxurious and soft and some yummy local honey that I'll be putting in the soap. Honey is really moisturizing and softening and I have some old-fashioned organic oats that I have ground up in my blender into a powder and these are just super softening for your skin. Um, these two things are optional. I have some brown soap color and I also have some fragrance, some oatmeal, milk, and honey fragrance. I will be using a teaspoon to measure out my fragrance oils and then I have some just good old rubbing alcohol that I put in a squirt bottle and a spoon and this is my special mark spoon I use for soap and that's it. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up your soap base. Most soap bases come in a two pound block and we're just going to be using half of it. So I just cut it in half which will give me one pound of soap that we'll be working with. And then you're going to cut it up into pieces. And the soap base is made so it has little squares already marked in it. Each square is one ounce. Um, and we're just gonna cut that all up, put it in our measuring cup, and then we're going to melt it in our microwave. You could also use a double boiler over your stovetop. So I'm going to cook the soap in 30 second intervals. And after 30 seconds, give it a good stir and you'll see it starts to slowly melt. Now my basement where I film my videos is freezing cold, so mine took a little bit longer to melt than some, but do keep in mind um, that it's going to melt quite quickly. If your house is a little bit warmer, it'll melt a little bit faster. So I just keep putting it in my microwave for 30 seconds. I take it out, give it a little stir, and then I stick it back in my microwave for about 30 seconds. And you can see that soap starting to liquefy in the bottom there. And it's going to get nice and creamy and thin. You wanna make sure that you don't overcook your soap, but you do want it to melt down so there aren't any of the white uh, pieces of soap still floating in it. The next thing you're going to do is grab your sweet almond oil and measure in one teaspoon of the oil. This is just going to make our soap more softening. Um, almond oil is so, so beautiful for your skin. It makes it very smooth and soft. You don't want to add too much of any extra oils because we don't want it to affect the lather of our soap, but one teaspoon is a perfect amount to add. Then I'm going to grab my ground up oats. So this is just oatmeal I've taken and blended up in my blender, and I'm going to put in one teaspoon of the oat powder. Then I'm going to grab my honey, and I'm going to measure in one teaspoon of my honey. And this is local honey I got um, at a local food market, and it smells really good. My grandfather was a beekeeper, and we always had yummy fresh honey at our house, and this honey reminds me of that. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of this oat milk and honey fragrance oil, and a couple drops of brown of coloring. Now this isn't food coloring, it's specially made dye for soaps, um, and you wanna make sure that you are using soap and fragrance oil that is made for soaps. Then I'm going to grab my mold, give it a little spritz with the alcohol, and then I'm going to sprinkle just a tiny bit of oats in the bottom of my mold. And I'm going to gently pour in soap into each of the molds. And I'm actually only going to fill up four of these little rectangles. I got really excited and put oats in all six of them, so ignore the last two I put the oats in. Then grab the spray bottle that has the rubbing alcohol, spray the top of each bar of soap. This will help to pop the bubbles on the top of the soap and it will evaporate. So don't worry about any alcohol being in your soap and pop them out of your mold. They should come out of the silicone mold very easily. And you are all set guys. You have this very beautiful 
beautiful, luxurious bar of soap that's good for your skin and smells amazing. These are a lot of fun to make. These make very thoughtful, beautiful homemade gifts. It's a fun project to do with your kids. Make sure you're careful when you're dealing with the hot soap. And that's it guys, you're all set. Give this tutorial a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you have any comments or questions, post those below. If there's other soap tutorials you would like to see, I'd love to hear which ones you'd like to see. And you can check out some of my other videos at untidyartist.com or on my YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.